What's up guys? It's me, Sir Ernest, and today we will solve problem 7.28 from Griffith's 4th edition. The problem reads, Find the energy stored in a section of length L of a long solenoid of radius R, current I, and N turns per unit length using four ways. First is using equation 30, letter B, using equation 7.31, then equation 7.35 and equation 7.34 of your book. Now let's recall our solenoid. So if you have a solenoid like this, okay, so a solenoid is a, uh, a coil of wire of n turns, total number of n per unit length, uh, n turns per unit length. So this is a circular loop that is tightly wound let's say in a piece of plastic or rubber or whatever okay so the current will flow going around in uh, around like this so we consider the solenoid to be a, a combination of circular loops with radius r that carries a current i and the number of turns is uh, infinitely long okay so for letter a let's use equation 30. so equation 30 or equation 7.30 states that the work done or the energy stored which is equal to the work done is equal to one half times l times i squared where l is the inductance of your coil and i is the current flowing through the coil so from problem 7.24 we already found that but by the way this is your problem set so from 7.24 we found that that the self inductance for a solenoid is e just equal to mu naught times n squared times pi times r squared times l okay so here we assume that this would be your l and within this l there are n total turns okay so therefore you just seem uh, with the simple substitution the work done will just be equal to one half mu naught n squared pi r squared times l times i squared as simple as that so in the succeeding terms in succeeding uh, uh, methods we should find the same total work done so this is the easy part okay now let's try uh, letter b now, letter B says that we should use equation 7.31. So, equation 7.31, and this is uh, the stored energy, is equal to 1 half times the closed integral of the line integral or the closed line integral of A dot I dl. Okay? So in this case, our dl will be the infinitesimal l around this circular loop, for each circular loop. Okay? So we know that the, uh, the vector potential, or the magnetic vector potential A, is given by two statements first one is mu naught and i over 2 times s v hat and this is for s less than r so in other words this is for inside now for outside the magnetic vector potential is mu naught and i over 2 
times r squared over s we have. So this is for s greater than r. And this is from uh, example 5.12. So you can just check example 5.12 on how uh, to, to know how we ended up with this expression. Okay, but here we're going to take the dot product of this vector potential with the current along this wire. Okay, and that line integral is along this way. So that means the magnetic vector potential that we're going to choose would be the vector potential at S equal to R. So in this case, this is now equal to uh, one half mu naught n i r. So either you choose this one or this one, you still find the same magnetic vector potential. Okay, so now uh, let's do the integration. Now the stored energy will now be equal to the closed integral times one half of one half mu naught n i r dotted it with i we're in the i vector so your i vector that's the uh, vector that represents the, the magnitude of the current along this wire I'll be the direction along this wire and this this direction is also phi hat okay so this we are using cylindrical coordinate system here so we could dot it this with this with i p hat oh, sorry sorry this should be full vector so a is this should be um phi hat then we dot it to the i p hat then the n i'm sorry this is not a vector okay so phi hat that phi hat is one so this becomes a simple multiplication one half mu naught and i and r are constants so we take everything out so this is now equal to one fourth times uh, mu naught times n times i squared times r then the close integral of the n so here we're what we're going to do here is we're looking at the for one loop only this is for one loop only so the closed integral of dl will just be the circumference of one loop which is 2 pi r so multiplying 2 pi r to this we now end up with one fourth uh one half mu naught and pi r squared i squared so again this is for one loop sorry this is for one loop Okay, now since uh, we have n number of total n number of loops, remember that if total number of loops is capital N, so therefore this is equal to n turns per unit length times the total length so substituting this so this means that the total work done a total stored energy will just be the stored energy for each loop which is n total so this is now equal to one half times mu naught 
times n squared times pi r i squared and that which is the same as this expression you can see that's one half u naught n squared pi r squared i squ r squared i squared n squared so this is the same as this okay so in the next uh, problem we're going to solve c and d using equations 7.35 and 7.34 okay so with that thank you for watching and i'll see you guys in the next part or in part two of this problem bye bye